Today we are going to talk about a decision matrix. A decision matrix is the heart of the design process for alternatives. It contains a list of values in rows and columns that allows one to systematically identify, analyze, and rate the performance of relationships between sets of values. The matrix is useful for looking at large masses of decision factors and assessing each factor's relative significance. Today, our topic is going to be about ways to lower heating cost in a house. First, we need to start off with a blank piece of paper. Then we are going to add a square. This will be the form of our table. From there, we will add constraints in the column section. I brainstormed these ideas, such as a smart thermostat, or installing drapes, another idea is the user could wear a sweater. They could also insulate the walls of their house. or grow trees around their house. Last but not least, the user could decide to rotate their house. From here, the user must choose some criteria in order to resolve the issue. For this decision matrix, I decided to use this type of criteria. What would the installation cost be? Perhaps what the operating cost would be. Would it be done in a timely fashion? Is it convenient to the user? Is it aesthetically pleasing? And to finish off the table, what would be the total of all those choices? In a decision matrix, the object gets a plus for alternative that does a good job of satisfying the specifications. They get a minus for an alternative that does not do a good job, and a zero for an alternative that is neutral. As you can see, I already started doing the top three of the decision matrix. The smart thermostat came across with pluses across the board and totaled to a number five. Installing drapes came up with a plus on installation cost, operating cost, and in a timely fashion, but came up as neutral for its conveniency and its aesthetics. Its final total came to a three. As far as wearing a sweater, it came across with a plus on installation cost, operating cost, and in a timely fashion although it came across on neutrals with conveniency and aesthetics. It came across with a three as its final score. As we stand, the smart thermostat is at the top of the leaderboard on what decision we should make to adjust the problem of heating costs in our home. I then continued on to see if insulating the walls would resolve the issue. It was given a plus in the insulation cost and a minus in the operating cost, a neutral in the timely fashion, a negative in the convenience section, and a zero for the aesthetically pleasing section. Its final total came up to be a negative one. Where we stand here, the leaderboard is still the smart thermostat. I continued on to finish the table with growing trees. It came up to be that insulation cost would be a neutral, operating cost would be a plus, timely fashion would be a neutral, conveniency would be a neutral, and the aesthetically pleasing would be a plus. To finish it off, this would end in a total of a positive two. In the decision of maybe rotating the house, Insulation cost would be a zero. Operating cost would be a negative. Timely fashion would be a negative. Conveniency would be a negative. 
and the aesthetically pleasing would be a negative. The total for rotating the house would come up to be a negative 4. In the end, the best decision would be to install a smart thermostat. It came across with the most positives out of all the other options. The worst option would be to rotate the house because it came across with the most negatives.